Hi, I'm Chris Lopes. And I'm Kimball Putnam with Burke Process Equipment. And today we're going to get together to talk about standard cavity style gear pumps and the micro pump patented suction shoe style gear pump. Oh, well, looks like we have some examples here. Um, let's get to it. All right. All right. So let's start with the uh, micro pump GLH23. Great. Cavity style. Hopefully you can see the gear rotation in the end. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's a simple construction. End of the pump is the cavity plate. No, sorry, the uh, bearing plate. A little better picture of the inside. Now, when I've got this rotating along with the arrow, Chris, can you point out where the inlet of the pump would be? Yeah, the inlet's going to be right here. So your fluid is going to come right in here, travel around in the cavities, and then get pinched out on this side. Right. So it's simple, bearing plate, cavity, and then the gears. So now we'll take a look at this pump, which is the GC-M23. Uh, it also, like this one, is, is on a 56C adapter. So these are for, for larger motors. They're easier to see, that's why I've got these. I've got two other pumps we can look at, which are more of your OEM style pumps that you'll okay. see in, in, in large volumes. These are easier, easier to look at. This is just the mounting bracket. This is just the mounting bracket that allows you to mount to a 56C frame motor. So in this case, because it comes apart a little bit differently, it's built differently, I'm coming in from the back side of the pump. This is the uh, magnet cup. I'm going to take them off right here. And this is a heavy duty high pressure. This pump is actually capable of withstanding a system pressure of 1500 PSI. Oh, okay. Okay, there's the magnet. You can see uh, where it engages the gear. Okay, see the teeth there. All right. Now here is what the insides of the pump look like, being different from your cavity style. Maybe you can open that cavity sure. style on the handle and slide it over here. All right, so the difference is that the suction shoe is designed to sit in a, what I call an abbreviated form. Here's where it creates the, the uh, cavity walls. So the fluid is passed, again, between the teeth like you see over here, and the walls, in this case, of the suction shoe. The suction shoe is held in place by that spring. Um, one thing you don't want to do is have a high inlet pressure because it, it can lift this off the gears. That's the purpose of the spring and this cup right here to hold the suction shoe in place. The suction shoe style has advantages over the cavity style in that it uses that uh, top of the shoe to give you an advantage in high pressure application. So oh, it, okay. it's pressure loaded. Yeah and you get more efficiency than you would with the cavity style, where if you have a higher back pressure, you can have some slip on thinner fluids that, that goes back. It loses some efficiency. Okay. But with the suction shoe style, it operates better at higher pressures. 